Question 4. In a laboratory, acid spills can be cleaned up and made safe by spreading anhydrous sodium carbonate over the spill to neutralize the acid. A student accidentally spills 50 centimeter cube of 2 molar per decimeter cube of HCl on the bench. What is the minimum mass of anhydrous sodium carbonate required to neutralize the acid? Well, the best is to balance the equation of sodium carbonate and HCl and that gives you 2 sodium chloride plus CO2 plus H2O. Uh, don't forget that's 2 HCl. So the ratio here, the stoichiometric ratio is 1, 2, 2, 1, 1. So now we know that the stoichiometric ratio is 1, 2, 2, 1, 1. And we know that from the uh, given data, we know that 50 centimeter cube of 2 molar HCl. And therefore, we do concentration times uh, volume. And so concentration is 2 times the volume is 50 over 1000 to get decimeter cube. And that is 2 times 0 0.05 and that will be 0 0.1. So that's the mole of that. If that's 0 0.1, the molar of carbonate is going to be half of this one, 0 0.05. Because this is uh, 1 to 2 and we know that 0 0.1. So that will be half of 0 0.1, which is 0 0.05. Now we know the formula for mole is mass over relative molecular mass, which means the relative molecular mass of sodium bicarbonate, sodium carbonate will be, well, carbon is 12, 48, for three oxygen, sodium is 23 times two, all add up to 106 grams per mole. Therefore, to make mass the uh, subject, because we're looking for mass, we cross multiply relative molecular mass times mole to get the mass. So this one is n over 1, and if we cross multiply, we get 1 times m equals that times that. So that's what we get here. And then we multiply those two together, we get 5.3 grams. So looking in here, we can see 5.3 grams here. So the answer will be B, and that's B.